Good morning, Zodiac, and welcome, Soul Family, I say. If you know Terrence McKenna, find the other Soul Family. We're here to share about uh, spirituality, metaphysics, love, romance. Try to focus more on myself, so these readings try to focus more on us than about in another. Uh, most of my channels, you know, uh, love and relationship channel. Uh, but this one I like to be a little different here, okay? It's kind of my heart and soul reading. Um, and I tell you, I've been having a hard time of it lately. And I was thinking, that, you know, I was praying today, in fact, not long before this reading, and I kind of already had a mind to read out of the Gilded Tarot, and I was trying to decide on what. And and I know, for me, praying is something I didn't have. It was a quiver I didn't have. Uh, it was arrow I didn't have my quiver until um, about um, 2007, when I took five grams of magic mushrooms. <laughs> um with good intentions, um, but it it's it really is helpful to me. Um, I gotta tell you, uh, when you know when things are tough. So, and I was thinking about prayer and kind of you know the the one card to me that's a, a means prayer the most is the high priestess. That's why I want to talk about the high priestess today. You know, it's the card that's on the ethereal visions deck. You know, one of the reasons I got that deck, I was drawn always drawn to the high priestess. You got Pisces in the seventh house, so I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna just open the deck and find the um, high priestess. God does that. Hopefully, that won't take five minutes. Process. I saw death on the bottom, so transformation. We'll keep that. Let me just read what they have to say here. The high priestess speaks of the unknown and contradictions. While her face is masked, she is clothed with a transparent gown. She floats with the toe barely skimming the waters of the subconscious, while her head is crowned with nine glowing orbs representing the nine planets. She exists between two pillars holding mechanisms whose purpose is unclear. The night sky behind her hints at both the poetic mystery of the moon and the logically charted courses of the heavenly bodies. She beguiles, she promises knowledge, she can be dangerous. We must accept her energy and wisdom cautiously. There's another two paragraphs, but let me say, uh, you know, I've, I've read this so many times, but this always uh, something new hits me. I, I see, I don't see the danger in the high priestess. It's like, uh, I have a lot of divine feminine, and it's kind of like, uh, that's kind of my higher self, that's my soul, it's how I... You know, we got with these words, all these highly abstract nouns, we all need to clarify what we really mean. I mean, like, you sit around and talk about God, but you don't clarify what you mean by God. You can sit around for your whole life <laughs> and talk to, about God, and we really don't even understand what each other's talking about. But but that's interesting. I take this with a lot of guidance, too. Um, she could be dangerous. We must accept her energy and wisdom cautiously. So, I don't know. I just I have trouble relating to that again. And then it goes on. The message of the high priestess is about a kind of knowing that is beyond logic. Pay attention to your intuition and recognize that there are different ways of knowing. While the stars and the planets of the night sky can be charted and understood rationally, this same sky inspires us in ways foreign to our sense of reason. There's another paragraph. <laughs> I gotta stop. I love it when people refer to astrology as rationally. <laughs> Be aware of staying too long in the heady realms of the High Priestess. You must take your inspiration and translate it into action. Honor the muse, but do not become her slave. So, very interesting. Um, well, it's fresh in your mind. I'll find it here in this deck in a minute. The High Priestess. Consider. So, um... This be the reading. I get to see what's around the high priest, see what I'm getting here. You know, with the devil coming out for the overall, uh, or death coming out for the overall energy. Thank God, not the devil. Um, it it kind of like part of my problem, Sagittarius. You know, uh, Jupiter, Mercury, Mars, uh, and the Sun. So you know, your Sun's how you really want to be in life. And so, you know, Saz wants to go, and I'm not going. You know, I haven't been. I've been crippled for many years and can barely walk, and uh, now just still in my, like, I'm such a shadow. I used to, my 
what I did for fun was a hike for 20 miles in the mountains, you know. Um, so now, um, you know, I can't really get out and do it, you know. And I think, like, part of this is just being in this transformation. Um, and I got to tell you, if you're in astrology, all for me, it's like uh, my uh, progressed sun is down about 28 and a half degrees Aquarius counting the degrees on this one because I, I don't know how to really feel about the Pisces but when you're progressed sun that's a 30 year cycle moves into a new sign a, a new house um, especially um, that's a big deal uh, however you want to shake it you know and I just have the feeling you know something's going to happen there and it's spiritually uh, things will probably just deepen either that I'm going to die I'm never really 100% clear on that um, but I get the transformation thing. I think part of it is where a lot of us are transforming into more spiritual creatures, you know, um, going through a process of, you know, maybe a lot of us that are here, if you're watching this, you probably spent your whole life thinking, man, not feeling understood and a little on the outside. And what you thought was cool, other people thought it wasn't, <laughs> uh, you know, um, that kind of thing. And, oh, my girlfriend saw me. Yeah, you more, you got everything. <laughs> Uh, baby. Uh, a case of uh, leche. leche. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing the tarot like Shira. <laughs> okay, Trebejo. So, uh, okay, that was quick. Good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's Aurora. Yeah, I love of my life. She's like a Zen master, man. You know, like a blessing. Is bueno? <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Mi amor. Should have her makeup on. That's a problem. Mi amor, pausaste tu lectura? Si. Pausada. <laughs> Sigue corriendo tu video. I don't have the technical video. ability to pause that up, <laughs> Mi amor. Oh, no. <laughs> Me estas haciendo una trampa. <laughs> you look beautiful. <laughs> Uh, she really is amazing. Like a Zen master, he does this. Like uh, it's like this. Everything she does, her way she moves. Like I watch her just living. I often wish, like I wish I could be in her head. It's such a, a quiet, cinder place. But um, <laughs> wow. So we're gonna find the high priestess here. Uh, was this is speaking about like uh, guidance? You know, we're in a process of transformation. You think you're, you know, think of the pupae, we're dreaming metamorphic dreams, this kind of thing. Um, it's a powerful time, there's a lot of Pluto stuff going on here. I just noticed, full moon, I'll be doing the full moon reading, believe it, for this uh, eclipse. Um, and nobody's talked about this, the asteroid Eros is transit, it's going to be exactly, and I mean within minutes exactly, on Pluto, right as this goes down. So you tell me when that is. <laughs> Uh, be careful, honestly. I mean, I, honestly, this full moon would be due. I'm, I'm not even kidding. I mean, I don't think people here even need to say this. And you can try saying it to your kids when they listen, but this is not time to go out drinking. Don't even take the chance of getting slipped in Mickey. I mean, Eros on Pluto, for me, I'm very kind of Scorpion. I mean, it sounds really hot. It can be super dangerous, too, by transit like that. Particularly, it's at 25 Capricorns where Pluto is, so like 24, 40, 25, 40 something minutes of Capricorn, and um, you know, um, but intense, man. I mean, you, you would, don't be surprised if you're having erotic feelings. I wouldn't be surprised. That doesn't have some kind of impact, particularly if you're Eros dominant somehow or Pluto dominant, you know. But let me find the High Priestess here. Muy hermosa, mi amor. Muy, where's my, just the hair font, you know. Hair font's religion, and I want the high priestess because that's spirituality. That's kind of how I look at that deal. You, know, you go to the hair font if you want to get your religion here. Um, you go to the high priestess if you want the truth the spiritual truth about the world <laughs> yeah of course it's probably like right behind a death card but <laughs> oh i've never been I'm the star okay we're close we're close the hermit uh, all our friends are here let's just say that uh, okay looking for major con come on guys come on where is 
kind of counting on it not being that hard to find. It really is going to be. Ah, uh, there it is. So, good. So, we're going to say uh, the queen is before it. And, um, and we're going to have, ooh, the seven of swords. Okay, that's strategic thinking there. I already got this. Now, what did it say when I was reading about the high priestess? Be aware what I did relate to. The one part, a lot of that I didn't relate to about her. Watch it out for the dark side and all that. But kind of understood the part about don't sit in it too long. There's a time for action. That's what I'm saying. I feel like there's a time for action. Um, but I don't feel like I could really do it. And, and so uh, I feel more like I'm being told spiritually to shut down and not take action. But my ego wants to take action. That's there you go. That's the way to put it. That's what we put right in the middle. And so what I pray for is just to be the guidance and protection and strength, you know. Um, just be still for a few minutes longer. So here we are coming in um, in the Queen of Pentacles. I relate to that. I mean, we pretty much got together with the Queen of Pentacles. We know we're value, we're solid. Um, this kind of mature energy, even if you're a young person, you're mature for your age, you know, and solid, okay? Um, and here's our High Priestess, of course. A little different in this deck, but similar, so you can see. And to me, you know, that's the divine guidance, uh, divine timing is in the High Priestess, divine guidance. So you go to the High Priestess and that, what do you go to Hair Font for? You're going to go, Hair Font... What's the, I, my life's not going, do you think there's divine timing involved? You know, you know, high Priest is all about that. To be like, yeah, time, of course, there's always divine timing involved. Um, so she's the one that handles these things. Uh, that's why I always kind of, uh, and I feel like that to channel and try to be a hollow bone, that's all about the High Priestess energy right there. I mean, it's like pure intuition, you know, it's like if you just remove all, well, it's like, uh, it's also kind of, I think it's, I always think of uh, Pluto, because I, I mean, uh, uh, Pisces, but really you think of Neptune with the high priestess. Same way with the magician, you think of Mercury more so than you do Gemini. Um, it's like the planet usually brings the energy first. So think of that now, Neptune, and boy, that's huge in my chart. So, I mean, this is everything that's not real. Everything you can't uh, wrap your knuckles on is, uh, is this uh, Neptunian energy of the High Priestess, the veil, the gateway. It's what I'm saying to the other side. When I pray, it's kind of in my mind, I'm praying to, it's like the High Priestess. If I was going to say, what card in the deck is the card that is most like what the energy is that I pray to? Ding, 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 right there. And I think with the Seven of Swords here in the future, um, that what comes to mind is that line about, you know, you can't sit in the High Priestess energy forever. you got to take action. And this is the opposite of the High Priestess. The thing about, the, the worst thing about Seven of Swords, not the lying, cheating, stealing, um, it, the strategic thinking when it's trying to control things and I think this is kind of a warning and I think it's kind of saying what's going to happen probably for me I'm hard-headed and this is you know trying to with the strategic thinking and it's because fuck the four trying to outthink everything control everything get ahead of everything um, I, quote unquote think ahead one of my I've told people my whole life I think ahead I think ahead the Virgo rising for sure. Um, and sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. <laughs> Honestly, so if, I'm, if I'm honest, sometimes I miss, I miss a whole lot. Um, but all of that is just kind of trying to control. And it's the energy I think we're transforming out of. Because remember, we originally had depth at the bottom here of this deck. Um, so, um, yeah, under. So we still we have death here at the bottom still. Uh, what we're trying to transform out of and I think you know one thing I somebody told me is that I look to for guidance you know it's like you know it's a spiritual path you know you're gonna fall off of it that's the whole thing you get back on it when you can and you keep going like there are no wrong paths only right paths take it on I believe that with all my heart I believe with all my heart that even Hitler is gonna get there 
we are all moving inexorably into the light. It's just a matter of how, when we're going to get there and, 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 and how. Um, so um, that's, I think, what this is about. Maybe that's what's upsetting me so bad right now. Um, because honestly, if, 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 my, if I really take my ego out of things and get centered, you, you saw my girlfriend. Honestly, she's like that all the time. She, she got a little upset yesterday because her, her daughter's going through some stuff. But that, you know, normally it's like this centeredness. Uh, if you have peace, like what more do you need? And here's the, you know, the queen of pentacles, of all the queens especially, is the one that's going to be have peace and be centered and be grounded um, and all of that. And, you know, it's that not feeling, not having to waste a lot of energy, I think. And the strategic thinking. And it's very egoistical anyway, because, isn't it? I mean, if I'm thinking I can figure, it's like, once I'm, and more and more I'm realizing, if I align myself with my spiritual path, and I act uh, in good faith and with intent, good intentions, you know, I have to trust whatever happens. Um, and so, yeah, it's like, yeah, I have to, work and do the right thing take care of them but i don't have to overthink overthinking that's the thing i don't have to overthink things i don't have to go out of my way i have to worry this is worry 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 strategic thinking is worry because you're worried what's going to happen how can i prevent it well, what if i do this well then they might do that okay if they do that then i'll do this well if they do that and you can just go on and on with that and a lot of times you think you're getting somewhere a lot of times you you're not, because a lot of times it's, it's about stuff that hasn't, that's another thing, mostly all this is in our minds, it's swords, so it hasn't even happened yet, and it may or may not even happen, and here we are spinning our wheels and really using energy, and I think this is something the high priestess could tell you, it's like, what does count is just our consciousness in the days of the, our con the hours of our consciousness in the day, and, and what the quality of our consciousness is. That's why I stopped watching the news and everything many, many years ago. Um, once I realized, and I won't go there, <laughs> everything wasn't exactly what it seemed to be. And uh, I just stopped giving my energy to it. It's like, why? I go, oh, we got so much energy, you know? So thank you, Spirit. I think I get it. I'm trying, you know, to do it. And I'm going to try to let go of this worry and stuff. And I'm, you know what? I'm already going to give myself a little pass. I know I'm probably not going to do a very perfect job of it. And I'm not going to beat myself up over that either, you know. So thank you guys. I hope you got something out of that. If you know of any platform where you can share this, please do. Um, do uh, like, uh, tell friend, tell friend. And please do subscribe and hit that bell if you haven't yet. Thank you.